Yeah, what do you think the next 10 years of life is like in in in, in uh, America? Do you think it gets bad? I don't know. Yeah, the bums. <laughs> Somebody's got to fix this problem. I don't know what it is. Which problem? <laughs> the bums, dude. Oh, the bums. There's a lot of yeah. bums. Yeah, I say arm them. That's where I'm at. And okay. send them, yeah, and send them all towards the big, like, businesses. That's what I would do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> is that crazy? That's messed up. No, no, no. Give them guns, tell them... Not guns, I wouldn't say. Oh, you well, even worse, like machetes and shit. No, <laughs> what type of what type of arms? <laughs> Something if they're well behaved, it turns into a weapon. So, like, yeah, like a bow staff that has maybe a blade on the end, okay. but it, they have to put both hands on it, and it can tell if you're being good or you not. Test your heart rate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, if it's too high, you're not getting it. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> well, you need low heart rate. <laughs> yeah, warriors. So we're talking. Yeah. I don't like using the term bumps. Okay. <laughs> I like using the term <laughs> boots on the ground. Those are boots on the ground. Heroes <laughs> of society and stepdads. Yes. So you're talking giving Ninja Turtle weapons to <laughs> yeah, homeless I'm talking, guys. Let's yeah. <laughs> just see what happens. Oh, I'm talking give them the fucking, uh, the Donatello eye, uh, the eye, um, what's it called? A rag for your eyes, like a thing that holds your eyes in, but so, it doesn't. It's like Zorro a Zoro mask. Yeah, Zoro mask. That would be good. And lead them. They're going to need leaders. You could do it. You think I could lead the bums? Yeah. Get you a horse. Horse would be big. They would respect a horse. They're like fucking the Aztecs. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Just, just a guy on a horse. They'd be like, this guy, he's a god. <laughs> Somebody rolls up on a horse. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm just They are to... impervious to a lot of fucking damage. Horses? No. the uh, Well, horses. But homeless also people? Homeless people. Yeah. They get fucking walk through tasers. Well, they've been infected by so much. They've yeah. battled so many things. We got tased after a show in uh, Shreveport. <laughs> and uh, and here's the crazy part. I, 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 I started doing comedy in Louisiana, and so we go to sometimes Shreveport, and afterwards, yeah. this was four, 15 years ago, they'd say, hey, man, we'll tase you if you want. You know, the cops would come up and tase people in the bar because there's just not a lot of, like, yeah. uh, nightlife. Yeah. So here I am 15 years later, show's over, we're sitting around, with a couple of officers, and one of them goes, um, with a couple of off-duty police people. Yeah. And one of them goes, hey, man, we'll tase you if you want. And I was like, no fucking way. You guys are still doing that shit. <laughs> and they lit us all up. We got it together as a group and locked arms oh, or whatever. nice. Like a Harvey Milk kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then they um, lit us up. It How'd pretty- it feel? It hurt? You know, it's not as bad as you would think. Really? At all. At all. It's definitely a little bit of a surprise, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, I feel weird. It feels like somebody in the fucking, like, great beyond pressed a fucking doorbell that you didn't know was connected to you, you know? Yeah. It's actually really, yeah. But it, the pain is, it's not as painful. It's just as surprising as could be. It's, like, extremely surprising. They can go through the tasers. They can go through a lot. Well, they're immune to a lot of disease. Yeah. Well, at a certain point, that would be a lot of society, too, is, you know, we'd all be out there just, I don't know. We wouldn't be, you'd be immune to all the things because you are still alive on the streets. Yeah. And you'd want to probably strike back <laughs> against the rich. Where do, when we do this, okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Where do we meet up? That's a question I want to know. And that's a big question. I'm trying We're, to think of good, there's good cities for this. Austin's a very good city. Where do you meet up for the, re- for the revolution? The mothership, dude. Sixth Street. <laughs> that's <laughs> perfect, <laughs> dude. <laughs> oh, half of our military <laughs> would overdose. I know. Okay. <laughs> On fucking fireball, all right, before we even made it. <laughs> to the first 5G tower, okay? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna, we're, there's going to be some attrition. There's going to be some guys going AWOL. It's going to be tough keeping the troops together. Dude, I wouldn't call a guy who wants to sing karaoke all night. Somebody going, We're going to 6th Street. <laughs> we're taking that out. The bum's rising up on 6th. Okay, now that, if we take 6th Street out, that would be, now that I like. Yeah. And you're going to recruit a lot of, um, lot of talented young people. You could probably get... You know, some of the Texas Longhorns, maybe. Oh, that'd be good. Yeah. Quinn Ewers, he's staying another year. He joined yeah. probably. Um, I thought we were just recruiting uh, homeless people. But I think other like people are going to get jealous. Get when they going. start to see you doing yeah. well, Yeah, they're like, ah, oh, fuck, I'll yeah. do it. 
the masks and the swords and shit. Yeah, because Sig Ep is going to be nothing against a fucking homeless Ooh. battalion. Ooh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sig Ep might be number one. Bro, bro, we yeah. might go down frat row and just... <laughs> yeah, dude. I don't want the boys getting into a sorority. But I will say no sorority. I'll command them. I'll say leave the, leave the queens alone. Yeah, leave the leave women alone. Leave our white queens alone. <laughs> it? Now, if yeah. you want to get into these, some of these young fellas... Rock these boys, dude. Yeah. <laughs> then that's up to you, dude. If you want to get into some fucking Sigma Alpha Epstein over here and see what these fellas are doing. That, that, that's, yeah, that's, the bomb army is going to be tough to control, dude. But I don't think control is the one term. I know, but they're going to get, they're going to get loose, dude. They're going to fucking every victory, they're going to rape everybody, dude. <laughs> but they're, they're fucking turn on each other right away. No, they won't change. Yes, they There's, will, dude. No, they won't. I've seen them support each other. I've seen. I saw uh, a bum high, like living in a sofa, like in the cushion in the bottom part, and I saw a guy come and tuck him into bed one night in the park near my house. <laughs> you don't see that in America anymore. Dude, they had some bums by us, and because we live right by a park, and they stole a bunch of high school music equipment, I guess. So all night they would be in the fucking oh, park. I man. guess someone stole the sheet music too, right? So, oh, bro, that's so it's nice. Three a.m. and you hear somebody on a flute just playing. It's like, um, love the way you <laughs> lie by like Eminem and Rihanna. <laughs> <laughs> And people are like, shut the fuck no, up. That's a that's a jam sesh. Love the way you lie. <laughs> and the marching band, dude. It's a good <laughs> night. It's fucking sick. But so, dude, so the first, what do you, so, okay, so you say you meet up at the Comedy Mothership? I'm saying it, yeah, I think that's a good location. Okay, that's one Somewhere group. on 6th Street. Okay, that's fair. You can get a battalion there. You can't say some, it ha you have to have a location. You can't have fucking, <laughs> you can't have... <laughs> Homeless or semi-homeless people storming a fucking oh you're talking about you know first Jenny's battle. ice thought, cream or I something. I thought we were just meeting. I think it would be a good test to try to get the mothership because then you got Rogan in there. Okay, you got his team of security. Yeah, you'd have you, Joey you Diaz test, probably would be the yeah. chef. You got to test your fucking might against them. What do you it's mean? A good first battle against who? The local police? I'm saying send the bums into the mothership and see who wins. It's a good <laughs> test, all. dude. Hold on, dude. We're never going to work there again. <laughs> this is not a good choice, dude. All right, all right. Not the mothership. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I think you can I will meet lead up. My, I'll, I'm trying to think. Of where, where would you lead your bomb army? You can meet up out front of it. Well, I think you have to pick like five or six places in the Americas to meet up. So I think you're going to have for sure. K&A in Philadelphia. That's the street. It is? Yeah. K&A in Philly. Yeah. Okay. Kensington. Kensington yeah. and... And what? Allegheny. And Allegheny. Yeah. You get them. You get them in there. Bro, crossing the Allegheny that goes all the way back to the 1912, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or whenever, sometime around then. Crossing the yeah, the Delaware. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's, this is the army. They're fucking. They're encamped right now. Oh hell yeah! And it says no one deserves what's brewing in Kens Kensington. Now the tough part is to keep your army excited. You are gonna need um, over the counter meds probably, or under the counter. I don't know which one it is. I think. I think they're getting over. Okay. I think over the counter led them there. But it's crazy that the the people who are cuz society has led people to believe, you know, be in this space, you know. Yeah, my bad on saying we should send the bombs in, bombs in to the mothership. No, I think look. That'd be a tough one to get in. That's what I'm saying. There's a lot of security there. Oh, that's a good point. That's what I'm saying. It's <clears throat> a good first round. You know what I mean? Week yeah, 1. Yeah, I support it actually. I say we send it, yeah. You dispatch a unit. See how they do. Yeah. <laughs> and then we test to see, say, that's like the final boss. Let's see how we can do against <laughs> some crack security and guys with guns. Oh, yeah. You never, that, yeah. yeah. You're never going to be able to beat fucking Little Debbie or fucking Nextel or any yeah. of these. Facebook, if you can't take out uh, <laughs> a comedy <laughs> club. <Comedy Club. laughs> do you feel like we could really end up in our lifetime as uh, heading to a revolution or, or some sort of a... Um, like a place where the sh where people where it all topples over, you know, because all it takes is really. I've thought about this. All it takes is a police, like a couple of people, like at a police, like police stations. All it takes is a couple of people to be like, "Hey, f I'm not going to follow the rules anymore." Yeah. And once they, and then other people are, like, well, "I'm not going to." If this guy's, and then it's just nobody's, because we're kind of getting there. It feels like, you know. 
I feel like kind of people just kind of are like, if nobody's going to follow the rules, then why do everybody's kind of getting there? It feels like sometimes maybe I'm wrong. You know, maybe I'm just making it exciting for the conversation. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how wrong you are. Maybe people are out there not following rules. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know if that's going to start a revolution, but. But yeah. at a certain point, if enough people say, okay, I'm not going to drive within the lines, right? Yeah. I'm not going to follow the speed limit. It's almost just like that. Like every now and then. like but that that has immediate consequences for whoever's doing it. They're going to crash. Usually. You know? But if enough people are like, well, fuck it, I'm not waiting because there's, uh, there's an emergency up there. I'm not going to wait for yeah. an hour. I'm just going to go do what I want. But it's just that whole, that attitude. If I'm just going to do sure. it. And then Other it's, countries do that. Yeah. yeah Haiti. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. You go in there, the traffic jams and shit there. Like in India, you know? You ever watch that? Oh, they just do. Yeah, people, yeah. yeah. And they're doing all right. <laughs> yeah, you just wonder what's going to happen, you know? Yeah. Um, 